Hi. May I welcome you aboard the Brent Park Barbecue Dance and Fundraising Evening? Louder. How louder? Twiddle the right hand knob on that box. Oh, do I have to? Rod, you know how twiddling knobs makes me nervous. Miriam, please, I'm not doing this for fun. But I thought that's exactly what we were doing it for, Roger. Doing what? I'm sorry, I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Would you please hurry up? What I'm saying, Roger, is that we are doing it for fun. In as much as the whole point is to make it a fun evening. A what evening? Oh. Fun! 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 Sorry, darling. Fun. Yeah! Thank you, phones us two or three times a week. Not like David. We're lucky if we hear from him once a month, and then it's only if he wants to borrow money. <laughs> Would you excuse me for a moment? I think I can hear Roger calling. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, I don't understand it. I mean, look at it. It's not hot enough. I know it's not hot enough. Only the thing is, Roger. We're scheduled to start serving. People are beginning to inquire. Well, I shall have to go and make an announcement, won't I? If I may have your attention for just one moment. In the house for the captain! Look out for the captain, please! Thank you, thank you. Where was I? Due to circumstances beyond your control... Thank you, Kevin. Yes. Due to circumstances beyond my control, there will be a slight delay in the serving of refreshments. Oh, so if you will just bear much, with me, and in the very short meantime, carry on enjoying yourself as per. Thank you. Thank you! <laughs> How did you know what he was going to say? This is the same thing every year, didn't he? Well, you little twerp. If I may, while I've got your attention... In a hush for the captain! In a quiet for the captain, please! Where was I? Raffle tickets. Just to remind you that several of the ladies will be passing amongst with tickets for the raffle. Tickets for the what? Tickets for the raffle. All proceeds go entirely to the club, so I would ask you to dig deep. Thank you. There you are. There you are, my lovely. Good evening, Nigel. What can I get you? Uh, two GNTs, please, Dennis. Two GNTs. And what will your good lady be drinking? Sorry? Oh, <laughs> very good. <laughs> Actually, she's not my lady friend. Oh, well, uh, whoever she is, give her a few of those and you'll be all right, you dirty dog. She's my mother. Here, Rog. There's a dude in a white suit. That's, um, hang on, that's, uh, did, Trevor. That's it, Trevor. Trevor, um, uh, thingy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Just moved down from Birmingham, school teacher. What to the point? Bowler, fast, very fast, and looking for a regular game next season. Rap Jam's working on him. I wonder if he gives private lessons. Watch it. not mixing, are you? I asked you to mix. I am trying, Dennis. You know how nervous I get with strangers. They wouldn't be strangers if you mixed, would they, Shirley, my love? Would they? Yes, my friend. There you are, you see? They're sizzling. Off you go, they woman. Chop, chop. Chop, chop what, darling? Chop, chop. Circulate. Love you. OK, fair enough? Love you too, darling. Super. Scotch for your good self and a uh, mineral con gas for the delightful Virginia. Make it a large one, will you? 
sure. Oh boy. A large one. And it's all right with you. I suggest that we stay here for half an hour or so and then move on to somewhere interesting. Oh, whatever. I'm very happy. Alex, how nice to see you. We weren't sure you'd be coming. No, wouldn't miss it for the world. Uh, this is Gerald, uh, Gerald Mason. Gerald, this is Miriam Dervish, the uh, captain's wife. Oh, how do you do? Uh, Gerald is one of my firm's senior partners. Oh, gosh, how very, um... Do you play cricket at all, Mr. Mason? Uh, Gerald? Uh, no, sadly not. Uh, golf. Oh, super. Well, if you'll excuse me, um, Gerald, I better have fun. Sorry about that. Now, um, can I get you something to drink? And a fizzy water for your friend. He isn't my friend. He's a senior partner with my firm. Oh, thank God for that, old son. For a nasty minute, I thought you'd gone over to the other side. <laughs> thought I'd what? Well, you know. If you must know, he happened to mention that his wife was away for the weekend, and I rather foolishly invited him to this grotesque gathering. To my utter amazement, he actually said yes. A chance to do yourself a bit of good then, eh, old son? Possibly. As long as I can keep the likes of you at bay. had an idea, Shirley, my love. You like being useful, don't you? Instead of standing about like one of the homeless, why don't you attempt to sell a raffle ticket? Apart from anything else, it's a way of meeting people, isn't it? Watch. Sonia? How lovely to see you. You sure about this, old boy? Bearing in mind your past history. Large Scotch. Thank you, Arnold. Cheers. Cheers. I hope you don't mind my popping in. No, of course not. We were just saying... I wasn't you... going to. Not under the circumstances. Right. And then I thought, no, it's what Frederick would have wanted. He was like that, you know. He'd want everything to go on as normal. As if he hadn't, you know, died. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sonia. Anyway, I'm sure you've got lots to do, so I'll just sit here quietly and watch people enjoy themselves. Yes, well, I should, um, you know. Well, off you go, then. So long as you're, um... Yes, of course I am. Off you go. Five minutes, all right, Miriam? Five minutes. Sonia's here. Isn't that nice? Sonia? Sonia who? Sonia! Fred's widow. You will behave yourself, won't you, Roger? Especially now that things are going so well for us. Oh, yes, of course you will. <laughs> Super! You don't know a good estate agent, do you? I didn't know there was such a thing. Why, <laughs> well, you thinking of moving? Well, we'll have to, won't we? We can't stay in the flat. Not now we're having a baby. Didn't know. Congratulations. Well, we haven't been saying anything, you know, just in case. Oh, yeah. You must be very pleased. Well, I am now. I wasn't at first. I thought, oh, my God, that's all we need. But I am now. I'm thrilled to pieces. We both are, aren't we, darling? Thrilled to pieces. Where's that? It's not as a teacher, like. Just did a bit of garden, etc., etc. Cheers. No! Dinner is served. Lovely spread, Miriam. Thank you, Shirley. I was a bit worried it wouldn't quite come up to scratch. Your refreshments, <laughs> Miriam, are, as ever, a culinary cavalcade. <laughs> Mind you, bearing in mind the competition. Great grub, Rog. All right, Kid. Really great. You won't believe this, Skipper. She wants to know if there's any marmalade. Ginny. Marmalade? What for? 
to go with her sausage. Marmalade? Didn't you get any of that when Miriam was pregnant? Oh, right. Oh. Right. Excuse me. We were wondering if you might like some trifle. Oh, not at the moment, thank you. Sit down. Have a little chat with me. My husband died in tragic circumstances, not 100 yards from this very spot. Hello. Ah, I thought I'd come over and say hello. <laughs> I'm Kevin, by the way. Kevin Costello. How do you do? Uh, Gerald. Gerald Mason. How do you do? You're here with Alex, aren't you? Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> Tell me then, Gerald, what's he like when he's not playing cricket? <laughs> Excuse me, Gerald. Um, there's someone I'd like you to meet. So sorry, Kevin. Do, uh, do excuse us. Oh, I think, Meg. What's that? I think I've just been given the brush off. Oh, yeah. We'll see about that. Behave yourself. Well, then, Mim, it all seems to be going rather well. Oh, yes, darling, it's super. Oh, and uh, by the way, people have been asking if you'll be giving us a song later on. Oh, I don't think so, Rog, do you? Miriam, it is most unfair to deprive us of your beautiful voice. Besides which, you are the captain's wife. These things are expected. Yes, well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you two. Yeah, he's been keeping you all to himself, hasn't he? What's your name then? Gerald. Oh, I like the name Gerald. It's very classy. And um, excuse me. Can he talk nice? I admire that in a man, don't you? Nice vowels. My Kevin's got terrible vowels, silly little twerp. Are you a solicitor and all then, Gerald? Uh, yes, I am, actually. Well, don't you worry about it. Solicitors are only human like everyone else. Otherwise, why would they have been put on God's good earth? I mean, you look at the Tetsy fly, or disc jockeys for that matter. Don't stand there with your mouth open. There's a good boy, Alex. Go and get Gerald his drink. And you can get me one and all while you're at it. I'll have a creme de menthe frappe. No, I won't. I'll have a pint of Guinness. And see if they've got any gherkins. Do you like jokes, Gerald? Of course you do. You've got humorous eyes. Close, but humorous. Anyway, there's this travelling salesman up from London, and he arrives in this little village outside Tony Pandy. All right, everyone? Super. should at least make the gesture. And let's face it, Rog, you are the captain. How about it? What? Oh, I don't think I should, do you? Just in case. Right. Just in case. Everything all right, um, uh, Sonia? Come and have a little talk with me. Well, well, I would. Yes, uh, of course, I, I would. Uh, but the thing is, you see, um, uh, Sonia, I, I, I was wondering whether you'd like uh, a dance. But of course, uh, of course, you wouldn't be, you know, recently, you know, um, thingied. So um, I better just, um, you know, see you later then. Roger. Oh. How come you didn't carry on like that when you were up here, she says? Oh, he says, then I wasn't a duck. <laughs> oh, 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 look at his face. I think I've offended him. That's a surprise, isn't it, Gerald? Didn't think he took offence. Thought he only gave it. Come on, Alex. Come and dance. I don't want to dance. Of course you do. Give you a chance to get hold of my bum. It's always trying to get hold of my bum, the little tinker. Well, the, the, the real challenge for a captain such as myself is, is to keep one's head when all about are losing theirs. 
that and not letting it affect one's own game, of course, be it, uh, be it batting or, or bowling or, in the case of myself, one's performance behind the stumps. No, uh, the thing is, um, no matter what the pressure, to, to, to keep calm, you know, to no circumstances to exhibit thingy, you know, um, what's it? Frederick was always very much in awe of you, you know. Oh, really? He used to say to me, that man is like a rod of iron. Really? I didn't know what he meant. Until now, of course. I just don't understand what it is you're saying, What Dennis. I'm saying is... And had I been given some support, I would have been head of the carpet department by now and possibly, very possibly, the entire soft furnishings division. But no, you weren't up to it. That's why I get angry, Shirley, my love. Because you held me back. Help me back. The thing is, Nige. No, I'm Ken. That's Nige. All right. Where was I? Uh, thing is, Kev. The thing is, Kev, the thing is, she says if I don't give up my cricket while she's pregnant, she's going to leave me. It's just going to have to be philosophical about it, won't you? If she goes, she goes. That's true enough, Kev. That's true enough. But, but, the thing is, Kev, the thing is, what's Helen going to say? Who's Helen? My first wife. What's her name? Helen. What's she going to say when I tell her I'm having another baby? And now, you lucky, lucky people, it's raffle time. And just to remind you that once again, most of the prizes have been obtained at cost by the very good offices of Dennis Broadley. So, a very big hand for Dennis, everyone. And a very special announcement. Get on with it. Thank you. We have a new major prize in that Sonia, who will be drawing the tickets for us as per, has very kindly, very kindly indeed, donated the very bat that Fred was using when he shook off this mortal coil. Stone of crows, that's all we need, the willow of death. And the first of our prizes is... Thank you, Dennis. A jumbo packet of three different coloured, 60% man-made fibre, 40% natural cotton mix socks, if you'd be so kind. Uh, Sonia. Hey, Shirley. No idea. Three Gone to the ladies, two. I should imagine. 32. That's something else I've noticed about them. Oh, no. Oh. Women. Well done. Oh, women. And our next prize What's that, then, then? Is they don't do many miles to the gallon. <laughs> Are there any miles to the gallon? Who doesn't? Women. <laughs> what about women? They don't do many miles to the gallon. <laughs> Sorry, Dan, I'm not with you. Bladder wise. A bladder wise. <laughs> right. You sure you don't mind? No, sure. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I've only had three, you know. Three little whiskies. I can't drink, you see. Something to do with my metabolic rate of exchange. So I don't. Well, except for occasions like these when I do. But I wish I didn't. Well, I don't. Not really. Cheers. You ran me out, you bugger!
Hello, Miriam. Hello, Nigel. Why are you lying on the table? I'm trying to imagine what it must be like to be a pork pie. Or a Caesar salad. <laughs> I don't mind, really. Super. Haven't seen Sonia, have you? No, of course you haven't. I expect she's gone home, couldn't stand the strain. Bless her. Roger's been telling me what a beautiful voice you've got. Yes, well, Rog. <laughs> Does that mean you're doing a number then? No, I couldn't. Of course you could. No, really, I couldn't. You can't marry love. No, you just have to wait. She said love don't come easy. It's a game of give and take. You can't marry love. No, you just have to wait. Just trust in the good time. Suffice to say that in terms of in terms of fine finance, we have done considerably better than last year. And I would just like to leave you with this this thought. And in doing so, I will what's the name? Um, your fire to another great leader. Think not what your cricket club can do for you, but what you can do for your cricket club. I thank you and declare this thingy. Watch it. Baby, I just wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. I am. I'm really sorry. Forget it. I'm really pleased for you. No, but forget it. <laughs> Tell me something. Are you happy? Going home with her, you mean? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, sorry, old boy, in what connection? The team, you idiot. Or well, the team? What do you mean? I mean the way it's being run. I mean the number of matches we've lost through lack of proper leadership. I mean whether we want to continue in the same second-rate fashion. Think about it. What's all that about? He wants me to have a look at his extension. <laughs> I could have danced all night. I could have danced all night. And still I beg for more. Oh, it's so 